I've lost a lot of brain cells today, and it's not even because I've reacted to Chibi Doki clips. It's literally just my Twitch chat. You guys can join us where we react to these clips live on my Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Evan Nito. Today, we're reacting to VTuber clips that the chat sent me, and I hope that they're not as sus as I imagine them to be. Is rabies real, or is it a vast government conspiracy aimed at stopping me? Cuddling raccoons. She can't be that stupid, right? Japanese explicit media and um, see that in real life uh, explicit content, you have a common phrase that is known as, okay. help me step bro, I'm stuck. <laughs> Where in this situation, a person in persons find themselves stuck doing mundane help. Help me step chat, I'm stuck on a stream. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine like actually getting stuck though? Like some of those scenarios are just so ridiculous. Like how do you even get stuck in a laundry machine? Like what do you have to be doing to be bent over all up in there like that, right? Nice. Does it have to go into hot water? I may only have three inches, but it's three inches more than you Pee. have ever had. <laughs> okay. <Pee? laughs> Bro, she's just trying okay. to cook. Well, I don't have a penis. But you know what? My hole is longer than your three inches. Okay? <laughs> I was told I have an unusually long cervix. Oh my god. And yes, I'm proud of it. Okay? Bro was like so proud of his three incher, bro. He went in there with a vengeance. Man was like, I may only have three inches, but it's all I need. Look, I'm going to be quite honest here. The okay. entire reason that this short exists is okay. just to make back a shred of the money that I just lost. Uh -huh. You want to know context? I can give you context. I'm going to a convention in England in mid-August, and I put out buying my ticket until three days ago. The convention center is in Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Would you like to know a fun fact? Apparently, there's also a city in Alabama called Birmingham. You know, the United States. Can you <laughs> guess where my plane ticket is going? I'm out like several hundred dollars and even worse, everyone just keeps DMing me just to clown on me. I see a lot of embarrassing stuff on the internet, but this is worse because I can't even defend myself with this one. I'm just stupid. I tweeted about it and the convention itself on their official <laughs> business account responded to the tweet just to clown on me brie has got to be one of the dumbest women i know but i love her to death you know, you know how like in anime there's like the big three in the vtubing community we have the three pillars of autism who all happen to be white women there's chibi doki punkalopi and pippa pipkin when buff said six foot nine she actually meant five foot three what? very common conversion error what can you get here come here what are you talking about the f are you talking about i am not that tall i mean short, <laughs> I'm, short. I'm not that short okay i'm not uh -huh. that short yeah sure listen here buckaroo uh -huh. okay listen here all right this is me bouncing up and down your lips okay just all right listen i am five three all right well not right now i'm i'm six nine right now uh -huh. i'm a werewolf okay? yeah sure but when i'm in my human form i'm five three which is mm. tall enough all right no 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 this is copyright infringement that's my line you can't use that however now's a good time to remind you guys that this video is sponsored by gamer subs guys if you use the code tall or tall enough they both work you can save yourself 10 percent on your next order of gamer subs literally the link is down in the description down below gamer subs has a ton of wonderful flavors for you to choose from and some awesome merch you can buy on their website you can buy goodies like shaker cups or t-shirts or whatever the heck this is but guys please use code tall at checkout it really helps me out and also thank you gamers for sponsoring the channel let's get back to the video every friday i call my chat my good little piggies and they oink and open their wallets for me <laughs> Hey, can I audit your managers? I need to I need to have a conversation with them. <laughs> Bonnie is so unhinged, man. Like in the few collabs that we've done with Bonnie here on my stream, every single time I'm so concerned that like I'm being out of pocket, right? Because like I don't want to be like you know blacklisted by a corporate vtuber agency but then bonnie just says something completely outlandish that i would never utter out of my own mouth just pictured some kind of proposal but with like a mario kart i don't even know where the ring would go what? you hand them like a toy mario kart and then they're like what's this and you're like look at the tire and then they'll look at the wheel of the cart and be like damn oh the cart is the ring oh my goodness guys i found it that could work <laughs> oh i hate Can that we become mayors forever <laughs> will you mate with me <laughs> oh, that's, that would wait, be cute i just realized how that sounded no wait not the dial not in the sus way <laughs> this is a say so sweet i am say so will you be my Ka -chow! 
If she doesn't want the mater ring, I don't want her. Will I be the asshole if I don't tell my daughter a present is from her dead great grandma? Oh, this is gonna be great. Last week, my grandma, a hundred, holy shit, congratulations, died. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm laughing at that, bro. Grandma's dead. Listen, listen, I am a white girl, all right? But listen, nice. We love white women here. If I actually do be, go if I do go full white girl chat, okay. I need you guys to put me down. Right? If, <laughs> wait, if wait, wait, I, sorry. What? Excuse me. Excuse Stanley me. Stanley cups. And, okay. And, Whoa. And, what's wrong with a Stanley cup? My dogs. Wait, what the hell? Well, hello. <laughs> like that's what white woman talks about fucking her dog. <laughs> oh, they have ponderings. <laughs> Oh, she got one. I feel like every single like full moco clip that we watch just restores balance to the world. For the person who said concept of death is more scary, I think the concept of death gives me a reason to do. Shit. I'm not gonna be here forever. That's great. That means I can spend all of my time doing cool. Shit. Sure. And because there's an end date eventually one day, then that kind of matters a little bit more. If I had infinite time, none of this would matter. That is true. Because I could just do it tomorrow. Yeah. When you have the idea of like, man, maybe I couldn't do it tomorrow. Better do it now. I find that to be actually compelling. <laughs> it's like a positive thing for me. It's like, oh, why am I wasting my time doing stupid? I can do cool instead. He has a fair point, right? Because I just like making people laugh and, and keeping them entertained. And so for me, I just want to do that as many times as humanly possible. So I just consistently try to make more content, right? And like, I cannot fathom the thought of being lazy. Like if you know me very well, or if you come to my streams or anything like that, I often talk about how hard I work and it's true. I barely take breaks. I am consistently just pumping out content after content after content. And genuinely speaking, it's only because I want as many people as humanly possible to know that I existed at some point on this planet. And hopefully I can go out knowing that I made millions upon millions of people smile. If you're interested in gore and unconsensual gnomes what? dungeons, what? then I would totally recommend Gnome Alone to you. What? But if you're not interested in that, like I wasn't, I would not recommend Gnome alone. I have the sudden urge to like look up and find out what that is, but at the same time, I I'm really not sure if I want to be scarred more than I already am. Escucha. No. A ghost is fighting for its life in there, or its afterlife, I guess. Escucha. <gasps> what the oh. fuck was that? Did you see that? I'm gonna. Ah! No hay nada. Ah! What the fuck oh, is that? So he's a no, oh god, no, dude, no, we're no, just no, trying no, to take no, a no, dump, no, bro. Did you see it? I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, he was just a small crack in the bathroom stall. Oh, uh, ew. But when Axel looks over the top, there's no one there. That's see actually it. kind of base. If I was goes out on a bathroom and uh, scare people who are taking doodos. Okay, but right ironically, if you were a ghost and you were haunting people who were taking doodos, that would just help them to poop faster. Right? So, unironically, I think that more ghosts should help people who are constipated. Wait, is this new? This is. Wait. Wait. Zen. Zen? Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. Genuinely, I was freaking out internally because she was flying a plane in New York. Out of character, not gonna lie. What do you mean out of character? That's my life. What am I, just a fucking silly character to you guys that dances around for your amusement? Yes, literally. <laughs> Man forgot that he's a marionette. Why, why is it? Ew, why is it round? It is me. <laughs> Why did you give me a massive gun? <laughs> no! No! Oh, so you're a people pleaser. Um, name three people who are pleased with you. Go on. I'll wait. <laughs> While I might not be able to think of a single person,
Um, I'm sure that my mom cares. I hosted my very first tournament, and I'm gonna be honest, it was just an excuse to get as many VTubers as I could to talk about their love of balls. It was huh? called the Balls Cup. I got 32 VTubers into a Marbles on stream game, and I made them compete against each other in a series of rounds, all to be crowned the ultimate baller. I had two casters, fully customized overlays, instant replays, a trailer, and even pre-recorded interviews of the competitors talking about how much they trained and practiced with their balls for this tournament. <laughs> it was insane. A fully edited video is on my channel right now talking about the whole thing in detail, but to give you a taste of these VTuber balls, here is one of my favorite clips from the stream. But there is Umi as our last winner of this round. It makes sense. I personally can attest that she is great with people being wet around her. Um, and so I, it definitely makes sense that she had the upper hand here. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you know, I always knew that Brie was the master of balls. So making content like this definitely makes sense for her. I was a kid and I remember I was scrolling through a channel. Channel 63 was the Spice channel over in New York. The screen would be static because you have to pay. It was monthly for it and we didn't have it. I stopped for a second. I saw a kid on the screen. It was like fuzzy and I was like, whoa are those boobs so i went to every TV. What? we had three tvs in the house that was the living room tv we didn't have anything I went to the back room and i checked i was like maybe on this tv i'll get it same fuzziness like, let me check my parents room no one was home i went to channel 63 and boom there it was full sex it was clear color rgb i was like what the f and like i held the remote i dropped it i found gold mamma mia and I stood there for like 20 minutes. My mom came home and she comes upstairs. Michael! <gasps> and I grabbed the remote. I like, I dropped it. Like, I, I picked it up and I went and like threw it. She's like, Michael! Shut it off. Get out. And I ran. This is the origin story of his fear of Booba. <laughs> the most egregious part of this story is that Nags' real name is Michael. That actually just disgusted me. Okay, you guys want to know what I discovered I can do? Oh. You want to know what I discovered I can do, guys? All right, guys, I discovered I can do a thing. I just want you guys to close your eyes, okay? I just want you guys to close your eyes and just have full immersion, okay? Close your eyes. Okay. Does that mean I have to have a puppy toggle now? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. The worst part about this clip is that as weird as it was, that's not the weirdest thing that has ever happened, I think, with Aries. I think the weirdest thing that has ever happened with Aries is that she and I have showered together. Are you seeing this chat? What the? I'm terrified. What is this? What the? Wait, no wait, it's a waving. That's crazy. What's its name? Its name is Coco. This is Coco? Coco. What kind of breed is this? <laughs> I've been asked that a lot. I honestly don't even know. It, I think it's a mixed breed. A mixed, mixed breed? Robot dog and Furby mixed breed. So, um, why? That is so Nightmares. disturbing. We're uh, sending voice to it from a Bluetooth controller over here. It can talk to you. It says all kinds of things. How was your day, Furbo? Coco activated shots. What? Mm. Okay, never mind. Let's get the f out of here jesus christ we gotta stop giving furries technology okay there's an epidemic here at open sauce dude i have an innate fear of furbies though like genuinely speaking like when i was growing up i forgot what movie they were from or whatever but like legitimately that movie freaked me out and then growing up like a few years back i met this girl and like we were gonna hook up or whatever and she was showing me her collection and the thing is right this girl gorgeous as all hell the problem was she had a like large collection of these Furbies and like I was wrestling in my mind do I do this or like do we like not you know because like it was insane it was like this just kind of crazy so okay Cinder I have a confession yeah oh okay um mm -hmm. I've never worked with beads before you're gonna be my first that's a lie what <laughs> So 
like, do washer beads often or no? Is it just like you just you just use them like dry from the box? I I, I don't I don't think you have to wash these beads. Oh okay 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 just checking. I don't know because I didn't these wash mine. Good. I don't know if that was like extra dirty of me or no. not. No okay. No. <laughs> okay just checking. Okay. Not a single thought that went through my head just now was pure, and I feel like I need to go to a church. God dang it, dude. That's what is boner jam? I don't even want to know. What? Well, I guess that'd be smegma. Sorry. How? Voices. What? Do you, what? Oh, Heavenly Father, for I have said something. Does she not have inner monologue? I left that in my frontal lobe with the other freaking. Oh my God, Jesus, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Someone said boner jam, like cat jam, and I was like, isn't that smegma? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh Lord, Father, I have sinned. <sighs> Pippa cheese. I don't think Jesus exists where Chibi Doki is headed. That was a so stank she became black. So, anyways, Jimmy. Uh, no, 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 I have uh, some important things to tell you about. Seeing her kill the food reminded me of Sausage Party, and that is a movie that no one should have ever watched. Anyway, that was a weird video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and all of my ramblings in between. Thank you so much for guys for checking out the channel. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to reach 150,000 subscribers on this channel, and I hope to someday do that. But also, make sure to check me out on Twitch. We do this every single Sunday and Wednesday at 2 p.m. CST. We would love to have you there. And also, Please, please, please take a goddamn shower. Bye-bye.